Hello everybody and welcome to a new tutorial for Encursors and as you can probably tell from the path for the fourth time I've mentioned we are doing colour. So colour within the terminal is quite interesting. It works generally with the Encursors on 16 base colours and it's very interesting. <laughs> Though what you've got to bear in mind is that it isn't necessarily on all of the terminals. Although it's very unlikely these days that you'll find a terminal that doesn't actually support colour. So there, just to let you know there is a test called has underscore colours and it's the American spelling and it will tell you if the if the console or terminal as some people like to call it such as myself um, actually has support for colour. So let's get start with, started with this. Now the main use of colour is to prettify things as actually shown very well with this Encursors based editor called Nano as you probably noticed because I use it in everything <laughs> I use it in pretty much everything apart from the ones which are on base windows which in that case I use in uh, no purpose plus because that's really quite good um, so yeah I'm just gonna get this typed up so Uh, it would help if I spot it right. So, to start color, it's very simple. What we do is we type start color. And that just, well, starts color. And it, you can't just use color immediately. It, it works in a similar way to the, in fact, it does work with the attribute system. But we have to do something called initialize a pair. Which corresponds to a pair of num a pair of numbers, a pair of colors which correspond together to form a certain color. So we'll type in one because it will be our pair number one, and then we'll type in some colors. So say we use color red or color blue background, or vice versa. I think it probably goes foreground background. Either way, it will very it will hurt your eyes quite a lot. So we do at rot and what we do is very important you put this in caps, we're gonna go colour pair and we're gonna type in one because we have initialized colour pair one as our pair. And we'll just do it like any other program. So we'll go colour pair one down here. And it will switch it off, sure enough. So we're gonna do print we're going to print our lovely message and it will make it this colour. Helps if I spell that right. So, trust the joke face to come up by accident. Uh, it would help if I put in a return zero as well. I can't tell you how many beginner programmers I've seen make that mistake. Because I am one myself. So, we're going to go and compile this, of course. I'm going to call it color. It helps if I put end cursors right. How? We've compiled it, so we're going to go color. I, sh I really should start spelling it the European way instead of the American way because I'm not American. So, yep. My eyes do indeed hurt, and I was indeed right, I believe. Let's check the code actually, because I think I was right. Yeah, so just to clarify. This corresponds to the foreground and this corresponds to the background as you clearly saw. Uh, there is a number of colours. As I think the best demonstration of this is my document viewer, which you can download off GitHub on one of my other videos, because it demonstrates all of the colours that are listed under the Unix cursor specification from 1992. I'm not entirely sure if there are any others, but there's quite a few under this. So as you can see, there's yellow, blue, green, red, purple, which is actually called magenta under there. There's even black and obviously white and grey. There is, there's a couple more. I can't remember them from memory, mainly because I have this reference guide here to do the memory for me. That's another thing I recommend. I recommend you buy this because I ordered this from, in fact, the United States, and it cost me 57 pence. So... Go ahead and buy it. It might be old, but it's a bloody great book, I tell you that for a fact. It also includes term info, which is quite useful for doing more low-level 
terminal handling. So, thanks for watching, um, and I will I will obviously tell you to like and subscribe and all that. Uh, you can tell I'm using Windows on the bottom from there, but I'm not too bothered because if you're complaining about that, why on earth are you watching a tutorial video? Why not? Why aren't you just reading? So, thanks for watching, and I will see you on the next episode. Ciao.